All right, hello everybody. We're um, back at uh, React and we're working through, <clears throat> today we're gonna be working through render state and the user interface. So today, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and get started. I've got Mesfin and DK with me. And um, Shrikant might join us here in a bit, um, but uh, I don't see him. Yeah, he's not joined us yet, but uh, we'll keep an eye out for him. <clears throat> but uh, I'll just go ahead and start reading for this upcoming lesson. Uh, actually, uh, Messon, would you mind reading it for me? I've got uh, something I need to take care of, but I'm here. So I'm going to stop sharing, but if one of you could read it. That would be helpful for me. Okay, let me try, but my voice is not that clear. So I'll leave the warning here. Need this one. No, it's the rendering. I think it's the next one, maybe. Windows that in user interface. Once you define a component, component initial state, you can display any part of it in the UI that's rendered. If a component is stateful, always have access to the data in step in its render. This is render method, you can access the data with this state. If you want to access a state value, the return of the render method, you have to increase the value in the kind of okay. State is one of the most powerful features of components in the app. It allows you to track important data in your app and render a UI in response to change this data. If your data changes, your UI will change. We have to use what's called virtual DOM to keep track of change behind the scenes. When the state data updates, it triggers every render of the component using that data, including child components that receive the data as a pop. React objects the actual load, but only where necessary. This means you don't have to worry about the changing about changing the door. Simply declare what the UI should look like. Now that if you make a component no other components are aware of its state. 
is, is completely encapsulated or locked up to that component unless you pass a step data to a child component by the quotes. This notion of encapsulated state is very important because it allows you to find certain logic, then have that logic contained and isolated in one place in your code. The code editor, my component, my component is already stateful. Find an H1 tag in the component render method which renders the value of name from the component state. So I will put it here. So I can go gender method which renders the value of name from the component. Okay. I'm not sure. Are we using this thing? Should have a key name with a value. And if we okay, and my component should be no longer. So what are you doing? <coughs> no, this is the last one. Not pass. Yeah. The render H1 should contain text yeah. rendered from the component step. Yeah, so you have to change this. Maybe the course of record come. You have to delete that. <laughs> yeah. And you have to say this dot state. This dot state. Dot name. Yeah, that's 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 how it should be. Mm. 
Mana lo? Usah saya mungkin. Kali ya. Uh, yeah, we said. Yeah, in here. Yeah, the H one. Yeah, this dot state dot name. That's it. Uh, I don't. Hmm. Yeah. So, <coughs> what are we trying to do here? Um, it, it says that you have to render the status uh, property in the H1. Yeah. You should yeah. Anywhere in H1? Yeah. Uh, maybe, I don't know. There is space. I don't know if it matters. Between H1. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't put the space. Mm -hmm. There is H1. Uh, when you open the... I think that space. I don't know if they are... Can, can, yeah. 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 You don't need space there. I mean, uh, after that, there is after bracket, there is space. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if the compiler. Yeah, this is so bullshit, you know? <laughs> Just because of the space. Yeah. You have to be careful. So, what did we do now? Did we just try to like... display the property. Of the value state. of the state yeah. into our UI. Yes. So this is how we render. Yes. Okay. But there was one key thing here. How do we know it's in the stateful or? If it's state, there is state. You will see the component. That the state will be created. No, but if you make a component stateful, yeah. <laughs> No other components are aware of it. It's a state. The state is completely encapsulated or local to the component. Unless you pass a state data to a child component as a top, like this, okay. Okay. All right. So we, we go ahead. Yeah. <coughs> step in the user interface another way there's another way to access step in a component in the render method before the return statement you find why javascript guys for example you put the clear functions the starter from state or props perform implications on this data by and so on. Then you can okay. So I can do mm, perform computations on this data and so on. Then you can assign any data to the rows which you have access to in the return statement. In my in the my component the render method, define a const called name. Okay. <coughs> And this set a default to the name value in the component state. This dot state. So this dot state. I mean, this, you can, this dot state. No, this dot state. State, and in the in the const name, go back to name, name, name. Uh, uh, no, 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 in the, in the variable name. Okay, 
point you go to punched and name call name yeah. and check it to the name so to, value to the states the component to the yeah so what you're gonna do is that go to const name in the variable name so this is done no, no 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 go to name up a little go to name and put that name in curly braces like that name I'm yes, trying to find it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Go to name. All right. Const call no. name and set okay. equal to the name value. Values component. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go to name, put that name in curly braces. Like yeah. const name. name. Yeah. Con no no up const bella. You're saying const the name in curly braces, yes. Yeah, and then, uh, and then in the return, in the return, you have to call the yes in the return value. Yeah, uh, open, open curly brace, no curly brace. Okay, yeah, H one. You have to render H one. Yeah, open H one. Uh, put it in curly brace name. name yeah now you see it's rendering okay <clears throat> this, is, this is another way of yes yes fit into the ui yeah okay so what we did we did we created several calls but this time in the render section yeah you just assigned it to a constant uh, name yeah and set it equal to the name value in the component step because you can write JavaScript directly in this part of the code. Okay, you don't have to in console in code this reference you can repress. We're talking about this thing, you don't have to include this reference in can repress. So this is an optional. No. No, no. Okay. Next, in the return statement, render this value in an H1 tag using the parallel name. Yeah. Remember, you need to use the JSX syntax. Tell the JavaScript in the return. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, so everybody okay? We go ahead. Mm. Okay, mm. let's move on. <coughs> the step is this step. This step. Yeah. The previous challenge about. <coughs> opens step and how to initialize step in the constructor. There is also a way to change the component step. We have to provide the method for taking component step called set step. You call the set step method with a new component class like so this object step okay passing in an object with the key value pair the keys are used it purpose and the values are the updated step type for instance if we were storing a unit in a step and we wanted to update it we would look like this this set step username and it's like a key pair value. React expects you to never modify step directly instead of this, use this. Okay, when step change author, also you should not directly patch 
multiple state objects in order to input performance. What this means is that step fits through the set step. Method can be asynchronous. There is an alternative syntax for the set step method which provides a way around this problem. A way. Yeah. This is rarely needed, but it's good to keep in mind. Please consult this method. There is a button. There is a button element in the code editor. It has an on click. Okay, on click. Handler. All right. This handler is triggered when the button presses a click effect in the body. And once the hand click, the handle click. Method defined on the microcontrollers. So when we click on this button, this thing will be triggered. Uh, using the hand click method, update the component step using this step. Set the name property in yeah. step to equal the string uh, yeah. yeah. Now, if you click it, 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 it doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. 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 Why? Because uh, uh, it's not re-rendering. Like. Yeah, it's not. Okay. So now we need to give some. Yeah. So go there, like up in the instruction. If you go up, you can update the state there. This dot set state. Yeah. This dot set state. Yeah. This dot set state set set, set it t set is equal to. Uh, you can you can see from the uh, impression how to write uh, scroll up that guide and see the syntax so, scroll the instruction up 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 uh, is it up yeah take yeah. that one yeah that's how you have to write not easy question You have that username, Levis. Yeah, and now you have to say name, colon, React Rocks. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, no, 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 it's an object. It's no, 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 no. There's an object property, so there's no semicolon. No there. semicolon, it's an object. It's yeah, an object. Yeah, yeah. No, test. No. no click on the button. If you oh. click it, it will change to react. <laughs> so, before. Uh, This one, so we click the button. Now we are five. So we set the step to that button. So when you click, then it will display. It. Yeah. The idea is that when you click the button, click me, the button will listen on the on click listener. There is on click listener. Yeah. It will call this dot handle click. This dot handle click is is a method on the, on the class which is already binded like this dot handle click is binded to the this class yeah. so whenever it is click it the on click the listener will call the method handle click and handle click there is this dot set state this dot set state will reassign the name to react rocks 
and it will call re render method to to refresh and update the UI. Yeah. 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 Even now you can practice this dot state dot name to put it in the another way that you have learned it before. Instead of writing this dot state dot name, you can put name and uh and create a variable a constant name is equal to destructure. Yeah. Do destructure. Practice in here also. Okay. So. That return. <laughs> yeah, a const name again. Like you have to practice again in here also. In the render. No, no, no. After the render, render. Before have, the return. Yeah. yeah. You have to create a constant name. No, no. Before no. return. Before. <laughs> yes. Okay. Constant curly braces. Curly brace name. Put curly braces around that name. Yeah. You remember that the other another way how to render the yeah yeah the state. previous one. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good opportunity to put it here also. Equal. Is equals to this dot state. This dot state. <laughs> yeah. Semicolon. And there only live name only this yes. Now if you click okay now now if you click react also yeah this is the react way. Okay. If you have one more property in your state, you can add it in that constant name after putting comma there. Suppose you have some age state, you can put comma after the name and you can use the age there. Yeah, uh, no, up a little bit up in the, this dot set state, go react rocks. Can you see react rocks? Yeah, yeah. put comma. Inside here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, put comma. No, 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 outside that. Yeah, comma and another property, let's say age. Edge colon enter then edge okay. colon like it's a, it's another object. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you can yeah, and you can call here in the edge to name. You can pass uh, yeah. edge also. This structure edge also in the after the name yeah. place comma and yeah. write edge. Yeah, the, yeah. The render after yeah. render constant name. You have Down. Operator, yeah. Uh, yes. After Down. after name, place comma. Comma. Within no. the curly braces. Inside inside okay. curly braces. Yeah. Comma edge. Yeah. Now yeah. you can and access edge. Come come down. Or oh, another open H two. H two. Yes. H two. Or H one. Just say edge. Now. Click. Oh, yeah, okay. you can see age 30. Okay. <laughs> That's how you do. Yeah. So we add one more. Yeah. Copy to the state. And yeah. Okay. That constant name age syntax is object destructuring, which is in ES6. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have to delete that. <coughs> Here also, I think. And that is not the comment we use in JSX. JSX yeah. comment is a different. Just delete it. The select and control backslash hit the control backslash i think it will generate comments yeah go ahead let's see okay uh can one of you guys take the screenshot i have 
Mr. Tin to take care of it, I'll come back after two, three minutes. If somebody can share the screen. Jamal Oshri. Shri, are you trying to share the screen? Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me?
you hear me guys hello i'm listening you go yeah yeah just go ahead okay all right um bind this to a class method in addition to setting and the letting step you can also define methods for your component class a class method typically needs to use this keyword so it can access properties on the class such as date and props inside the scope of the method there are few ways to allow your class method to access this one common way is to explicitly bind this into the constructor so this become bound to the class method when the component is initialized you may have noticed the last challenge used is dot handle is equal to this dot handle click dot bind this for its hand click method in the constructor then when you then okay then when you call function like this dot set step with a new class method this refers to the class and will not be undefined not but this keyword is one of the most confusing aspects of JavaScript, but plays an important role in React. Although its behavior here is totally normal. This lesson should have the place for an in depth review of this, so please refer to other lessons if there are this confusion. The code editor has a component called step. Okay. That keeps track of an item code. Okay, so we have it keeps track of uh, of an item count. It also has a method which allows you to increment this item code. However, the method doesn't work because it's using this keyword that's undefined. Fix it explicitly binding this to the other item method in the components constructor. Next, add a click handler to the bottom element in the renderer method. It should trigger the other item method when the bottom is with a click event. Remember that the method you pass to the on click handler needs curly brace because it should be interpreted directly as a JavaScript. Once you complete the other search you should be able to put the bottom ends in the right place. Okay. Okay, are you guys following me? Um, yes, yes. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you know it is recording. So now we will find so the component is there, is okay. So what we do now? Just write that this dot which method we are using? Add, add item again. Sorry? So, 
we will try to make more. Huh? Find the add item in the class. <laughs> add item. This dot add item. Yeah. This dot add item dot bind dot this. This. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Equals. Okay. Equal. Is equal to this dot add item dot. You can see it in the add item dot bind dot bind bind the item. Yeah, in the parenthesis pass this. Okay. This you need to pass this thing. This button. This not button. You are passing the this of the class to that event handler. Hmm? Yeah. Now uh, click on that click me. Is this right? I think that's now we do in the here in the button pass that on click so write that on click handler yeah, okay. so in the button go to the button uh, property okay. add on click method yes okay. on click capital C on click is equals to Curly brace. Yeah. This dot add item. Yeah, that's it. Now, if you click, you will see that it will adding the item. One, two. Yeah, you can click. It will add. Yeah. Once the comment that this dot bind and see how it responds. Yeah. Uh, you can use uh, <laughs> arrow function to Sirika. <laughs> Sirika, we can use arrow function here, right? Yes, we can use arrow function or else we can use that. Class yeah. properties, some feature is there. Yeah, but arrow is cool in here, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, so the, this the main thing is this is the bind. Yeah, this is what it does. Uh, the add, the add, the add item method will be part of the my component class if you bind it if not it will be no class so yeah. you cannot access it. It, it will be its own okay <coughs> out of scope <coughs> yeah then we add the same thing here on the on click event yeah you can read it here on documentation i shared it in the link yeah the chat I just shared that yeah. uh, documentation yeah. for them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here you can see the difference between that camel case and lower case. In yeah. JavaScript, we use lower case on click, but in React, we are using camel case. The C is capital yeah. here.
Okay. Yeah, scroll up, scroll down, you will see the why we are using bind all. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, that was this dot handle click. Yeah, this binding is necessary to make this handle from there. The, uh, scroll down, there is some explanation in the bill. Yeah, he, he can do yeah. this. He have to, yeah, you have to be careful about the meaning of this in JSX scroll bar in JavaScript plus method. <coughs> 